Welcome back to AM Northwest. Here to explain how you can keep eating burgers, bacon, and mac and cheese and actually heal your body instead of hurting it, we welcome the authors of Love on a Plate, the Gourmet Uncookbook, Kara Brotman and Marcus Rothkrantz. Good to have you both on the show. It's great to be here. I am blown away by how this all looks because these, this is like a sample of the meals you talk about in your book, and mm -hmm. your book is beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Um, this is all raw food. Mm -hmm. None of it cooked. What's the premise behind this? It's slightly heated. Slightly heated. You can heat, but just don't go over 118 degrees because that's the whole premise of raw food is anything over 118 degrees, you're killing the... If you take an apple and plant it in the ground, you get an apple tree. If you bake the apple and plant it in the ground, nothing happens. It's dead. You've killed the life force. Okay. So, so any, you're killing the life force. And not right. only that, there's a lot of um, water in these vegetables as well as fiber. And when you cook it, you get rid of the water and you've softened the fiber. Yeah, you're breaking down the fiber your so body. you're not feeding your probiotics as you should. Uh, and, of course, there's no animal products, which is for no saturated fat, no cholesterol, no IGF-1 hormones that cause cancer. So I mean, this is like the healthiest food you can have. This is what you're supposed to have in nature. The thing is, I grew up on pizza and Pop-Tarts and creme brulee and bacon and all that stuff, and I crave it just like everyone else. Right. So, I said, so we, that was our challenge. How can we keep making the same foods right. but have, with nothing but uncooked plants, but still heat it up so it's still warm when you right. eat it. And, that's and what with we, this taste, without and, compromising flavor and, and fast. It has to be yeah. fast. People think that if they, you know, they if they use fresh, that it's going to be too time consuming. Right. And it's not as long as your um, you have your refrigerator and your cupboards readied. And that's what we have in the beginning of the book. We show you how to set up your kitchen so it's that just you a can few cook ingredients. like this very yeah. easily. It's fast. Oh. It's easy. Okay. People think it's a lot of work. It's really easy. It, it is easy. No oven. Or no more stove. No more oven. Just a dehydrator and a blender. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's okay. It. So tell me about breakfast. Go okay. Ahead. So here we have. Breakfast, snack, lunch, dinner, and dessert. So okay. we'll start with the breakfast. Breakfast um, comes from the word break fast. So we want to break our fast with something light, not heavy. So here we have a lovely fruit salad. That's really pretty. Loaded with nutrition, mm -hmm. tastes delicious. We're going to put a nice, rich um, cashew cream. Cashew cream on this. On top. Of milk. So you have strawberries, you have mango. Any kind of fruit kiwi, that's in the season. Everything. And then we have that luscious milk. And then if you want, if you have kids and as a mom, the best feeling I have is knowing that my child is eating healthy. So have and, you know, bring the kids in to make their fruit salad in the morning. You know, you have a raspberry, get a little, you know, squirt bottle, have the kids make their own little Is that design. a raspberry sauce? This is just raspberry, a little lemon, and a little of Marcus's um, sugar-free sweetener okay. in here. It tastes delicious. You can throw chocolate sauce on here. It's just made out of cacao um, powder, which is the purest chocolate. So your and, child... Well, and why cashew milk versus regular milk? Well, regular milk, a lot of children are lactose intolerant. They shouldn't be having milk because it's got this natural growth hormone that's made for just cows, not oh, little, right. little yeah. children. Mm -hmm. um, this is loaded with vitamins. It doesn't get them, you know, it's just, it's perfect. This is a perfect meal for a child in the morning. Okay, I've got to try to this. To set him off on his okay. day. Wow, that's really good. That's really good. It is. It's definitely it's all <laughs> delicious. It's very satisfying. I'm like, okay, I'll have some more of this. <laughs> so for a mm. snack, um, you know, your child's, rather than Pop-Tarts or something unhealthy, this is an apple ravioli. It's got um, pecan. You know, we all want the good fats, which right. is nuts. This is pecan cream inside of... And the wrapper is apples. A thinly okay. sliced apple. There's oh, no, wow. There's no yeah. wheat, no gluten. No dairy. And normally they're no warm. Sugar. When you get out of the hydrated, it's warm. Oh, so that's really good too. Yeah, yeah. it's all excellent. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do food that healthy food that tastes healthy. Wow, that's really yeah, good. Yeah, so that's not wheat. That's apple slices. That's apple slices. Wow. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So no Marcus's gluten. pizza. You can introduce your pizza, Marcus. This, this is I wanted I'm pizza. So proud of his I pizza. even made. Pa I found a way to make pepperoni out of plants, and the cheese and the as uh, cashews. The apple. Uh, you know, the, Marcus, you're an artist too. Yeah, that's really I am. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the, and the crust is. Is not wheat. There's no gluten. Uh, it's coconut and chia seeds and coconut water. and chia seeds. And it's flexible, crust. just like a like a uh, pizza crust. And of course, this is warm when it comes out of the uh, dehydrator. Dehydrator. Is that crazy? It, it tastes like pepperoni pizza. It does yeah. taste just <laughs> like pizza, but yeah. you're not getting the. We gluten. eat the pepperonis just as a snack. We have, we take them in the car and just eat them. We snack on them. Wow. 
was really good. <laughs> you got this, is, this is fun. <laughs> okay. check, check this out. All right. Yeah, okay. Now, what is this? Okay, so this around. is pasta Alfredo. And I had the man that actually invented it, his grandson, wrote me saying, let me tell you about, because he was so impressed with the raw pasta Alfredo. Right. So basically, the pasta is... Um, thinly sliced zucchini. No, zucchini. I've and done zucchini pasta before. Well, this is different. I, I, I've been a chef. I come from a family of chefs, so I know okay. how to tweak foods to make it. Do you see how the consistency is just like pasta? It is. As well as the cream sauce. The so cream how sauce do you get that? Because that's not just raw. You, you have to do um, sprinkle it lightly with a little salt and let it cook, and then it softens like pasta. That's it, really good. It's crazy. Yeah, that's now really good. Dessert. Wow, you that's do really dessert. good. And then okay. for dessert. This is chocolate mousse atop a um, Brazil. <laughs> oh, we have a spoon right there. there. Okay. A top of Brazil nut cookie crust. Do you see I have a tough job? <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate mousse is not made from dairy, milk, or eggs, or flour. It's simply made from raw cacao, and, which is the purest form of chocolate. And the magic ingredient? Is avocado. Oh, I love avocado. And uh, Wait so till this you is, taste this. Well, this, this actually tastes better than actual this is gourmet wow. chocolate, chocolate mousse dessert. because yeah. it's got the most cleanest of ingredients and the purest. It's got the purest cacao. It's got the vanilla bean, not and, vanilla and this flavoring. Is a meal. This oh, is yeah. a meal. You can eat dessert as a meal. If you you could give your kid this for dinner wow. and yeah. be, know that he's eating healthy. This seriously, <laughs> every single one of these extremely tasty. We Again, don't. Do. The name of the book is Love on a Plate. Love awesome. on a Plate. Great job, you guys. Thank, Thank you both you so, so much. much. Appreciate it.